All right, here we go. Chapter 2.1, function, functions and equations. All right, so uh, we're going to talk today in this video about functions, some general notations, some general things about function. What is a function? I mean, come on. Uh, in general, it takes an input and produces an output. All right? Think about our little function machine that you've seen a thousand times. A lot of other videos show this too. Some input goes into some function, and then it puts an output. I think of it like a dryer. If I'm going to dry some clothes, I take my, my wet clothes, and I put them in my dryer, and then it gives me dry clothes. It's great. It's an awesome, amazing uh, tool that we have. Okay, so that's in general what it is. But what about math? In math, it, we take an input, such as an x, right, which is the independent variable, and it produces some y. So we put in some x value, and then when we do that into the equation, then we're going to produce some y. So something comes of it. And that is the dependent variable, because y is dependent on what we put x into. What, what is it? Okay. Uh, it also has another bullet point here. For each x value, we only get one y value. You can only have one y. Well, well, sometimes we'll refer to that as the vertical line test, right? It has to pass that vertical line test. We only have one x, and then we get one y. We can't have two y values. However, we can have multiple x's. They could produce the same y value, all right? So think of a parabola. Think of a cubic. Uh, think of a um, uh, x to the fourth, right? So all these some of these different things create a um, situation there. Now, let's look at some graphs. Here we go. An example. Here's a classic graph. Example number one. Classic parabola, right? Uh, some x value is producing some y value. Another x value, so x sub 2, producing the same y value on the x-axis. Is that allowed? Pause the video. Ask yourself this question. Is function y or y not? Does it meet the criteria? You have to back the video up, or let me just slide the screen over, and uh, you can see if it meets the criteria that have been listed here. All right. Now, let's look at the other one. Here's our other example, example number 2. Is this a function? Why or why not? I encourage you, again, uh, pause the video and find out for yourself, is this a function? Why or why not? Do we have an x? Do we have more than one y? I don't know. All right, so check it out. Now we look at some function notation, some final pieces here. Function notation. We have f of x is equal to y. The function of x as it results in a y value. The function of f in terms of x. So everything is in terms of x to produce a y value. Now we also see this interesting notation here. So we see f colon and a little arrow here with 2 and x. That is the function of f maps to x. We'll see that sometimes in our class where uh, instead of this notation, f of x, we'll see it mapping. Where does it map to? If we put it in an x, what, what is it mapping to? All right. Hope you enjoyed today. Learned a lot. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.